Hey, so a major exclusive has dropped on Liam Payne. Very interesting indeed. Hey guys, this is Murad Murali, back at it again. It is daily and consistent content. And let's get into this video where an exclusive has dropped as of yesterday via page six about Liam Payne and how he sent some crazy stuff to his ex Maya Henry. Of course, she's been dragged into everything since he unfortunately passed away. She's been blamed for his death as well, which I think is so entirely inappropriate because for some reason, because of his unfortunate circumstances, he's been glorified. And whereas everybody around him has been demonized, and I just don't think that is fair at all. And we should be very objective when it comes to this sensitive conversation. And I'll explain why in this exclusive. Liam Payne allegedly sent Maya Henry, her ex, and her family unsolicited and extremely disturbing pictures, lewd photos and videos of himself right before he passed. According to a bombshell legal notice exclusively obtained by page six. In a season desist letter sent to Payne, his attorney and agents on October 9th, just one week before the singer tragically fell to his death in Buenos Aires, Henry's lawyers claimed that he had repeatedly sent unsolicited and disturbing images and videos to Maya's family and also to Maya Henry. The alleged images included, but were not limited to, pictures of his genitals and various videos of Mr. Payne performing very disturbing sexual acts on himself. The notice also accused Payne of actively communicating with third parties to distribute intimate visual material depicting his ex-girlfriend in a very intimate fashion. That is extremely disturbing, guys. According to the letter, Henry received a direct Instagram message on October 6th from a woman claiming to know the One X Direction member well. She alleged that she and Payne began communicating years prior. Page 6 reviewed a copy of the DM in which the unnamed individual alleged, The main reason I reached out is because he started blowing up my phone very recently on an iCloud email and when I asked who it was, he started and asking me if I wanted nudes of you, his current girlfriend. So not only is he sending stuff of himself, he's then allegedly circulating revenge porn related stuff. The woman alleged to Henry that she replied absolutely not to Payne in regards to receiving photos and added that she wanted to give Henry a heads up that he offered that. The woman also claimed per the message Page 6 obtained that Cassidy had reached out to her at one point asking her why her number had been blocked from her boyfriend's phone. I stopped answering him for a while and he messaged me on an iCloud account, a few different phones numbers as well as a Snapchat account. He would just not let things go. Another message Payne allegedly was sent to the woman said, send me the effing and sucking vids. Did I ever send you ones of Maya or any of my exes? Insanity. Henry's attorneys threatened to take criminal action or file a civil lawsuit against the Liam Payne, should he defame, threaten, harass or intimidate their client or family. They also noted that Henry would seek punitive damages for an unspecified amount. The attorneys concluded letting Payne and his team know that he had 10 business days to respond to the receipt of the letter, acknowledging that he would cease and desist from taking any action that may relate directly or indirectly to the dissemination, communication or transfer of the alleged images. Lord... Well, prior to his death, Payne had reportedly been feeling extremely overwhelmed by all of the legal issues he was facing. Henry had also recently started to go public with abuse claims she allegedly experienced whilst dating the singer as well. In September, the te Texas native who dated Liam Payne claimed that he still obsessively contacted her long after their breakup in many interviews, which I'll show in some of these clips in this video as well. Ever since we broke up, he messages me, will blow up my phone, not only from his phone number, it's always from a different phone number too. I never know where it's going to come from. After everything you've done, I've told you to leave me alone. As of like recent events that have happened, I can't speak on legally, but like it's just gotten so much worse. Um, but... Yeah, I'm just, I always just felt really bad. Um, and I always just felt like he, because he would always say, sorry, this is such a long answer. I just like, no, no, no you're good. But he would always just say, I'm so sorry for everything I've done. I can't live with myself. But then is continuing to like try and traumatize me. Wow. Page six has reached out to Liam Payne's lawyer. And of course, they're not going to respond because Liam Payne's death is still under investigation in Argentina. As we know, unfortunately, things took place. He passed and one fellow guest recorded seeing Payne smash his laptop in the lobby after receiving an email that seemingly upset him. It's unclear what was in that unsavory message. Perhaps that could be something to do with this stuff with Maya Henry and for the fact that all of this was about to go 
public. And so I think this is what really took him over the edge where he just did not want to deal with this stuff in reality and therefore wanted to take substances and forget it. But he, I don't think he anticipated, obviously, you know, going the way he unfortunately did. But taking disturbing sexual stuff of yourself and sending it to somebody without their permission is very scary indeed. Up even until my book was coming out, even one of his friends was calling me and my mom being like, oh, you know, this is just, isn't a good time for him. I don't think he should put the book out. You know, he's not doing well. And if something happens to him, not only are you going to blame yourself, but the whole world's going to blame you. And so I was like, just the fact that they just keep trying, I'm like, it's, it is like, like you said, such a low fucking manipulation tactic. It's mm. disturbing. It's very obsessive. It's a form of abuse, in my opinion. And then in messages saying that you want to send stuff of somebody's intimate photos and videos and gloat about it is an act of revenge porn which is a criminal act and so therefore i think this is what maya henry was about to come forth with not only in her book but also with her lawyers and i just don't think that liam payne could really handle the public pressure of all of that coming out and so therefore i believe he ended up taking a lot more substances than usual in order to just deal with scenarios like this and so this is my thing just because somebody has passed away does not mean they need to be glorified i'm so sorry i don't understand this especially with celebrities people like to glorify them even more so once they've passed as if the evil acts that they may have done should immediately be forgiven or we should forgive them i do feel sorry for maya for the fact that she was dragged into this conversation after he passed and for the fact that all in her comments it was blamed meticulously that she was the reason for why all of this has taken place she was the reason for why he jumped or had fallen or had taken the substances or was angry or was stressed and therefore she should be blamed for this it's incredibly sad in my opinion it's unfair it's an act of injustice and this is a shocking shocking report that has come out from page six that they have you know obtained these legal exclusive documents and this is what was going to come out publicly about liam he already wasn't the favorite member of the band anyways and so this would have been huge on him and i just don't think that he wanted to deal with it in any way shape or form taking disturbing sexual stuff of yourself and sending it to her running around to other people saying you know do you want to see xyz of her oh i've got videos of her all of this stuff it's very disgusting dark abusive and a awful dark area of liam Payne that i don't think anybody really knows of and now unfortunately that he's passed i believe things are just glorified in my opinion but i think that we should look at people on every single side of the coin and this new report definitely shows a damning side let me know your thoughts are guys when it comes to this report when it comes to liam payne so many developments when it comes to this situation i did not expect it i thought this would have wrapped up like three weeks ago do subscribe comment down below give this video a thumbs up i would appreciate it it's just one click to subscribe and i'll catch you guys soon for another video just too much going on guys too much is happening in this world i feel like we are aware of so much happening in this world and we just shouldn't be um it's not good for our mental health and that's basically what is going on because so much is happening i just feel like we are not meant to digest information in this way